Welcome back everyone, it's Friday and that means it is time for another edition of Ask the Psychic with celebrity medium Harry T. Boy, there's been lots of Today Extra viewers sending in their questions, so let's get straight into it. Harry, good to see Morning, you. Harry. Good to see you guys. Let's go, here's Annette who wants to know about her dad. Okay. Just wondering, um, many years ago, you know, my father passed away and I've briefly had what I would say is maybe some sort of um, contact with him. I just wonder if that was him and, you know, how is he, I guess? So what do you think, Harry? Absolutely. He is so happy. You know what's actually really interesting is I actually wrote signs from above. So that means that he's actually sending her signs from heaven and he shows me for some reason the feathers. So I feel like either he liked birds or he really enjoyed being outdoors with, with um, nature because I see the feathers and I actually feel that he does leave that for you to know that that's from him. Um, for some reason, I'm also getting, like, a David. Um, and that's I feel me. like... Mate, I'm right Oh, no, yeah! <laughs> I'm right here. No, but I think this person might be deceased. Oh. Um, and I don't know if that's his name or if there's a relative that's in spirit called David, because a lot of people know that I do get names. You and, do, yeah. yeah. But I, I, I get a David. And you know what? He's so excited. Uh, but your father's definitely with you. And you know what? He's got oh. this cheesy grin a little bit, mm -hmm. um, but he's cheeky and he's a practical joker. There he's we great. Go. There you Very go. interesting. Kathleen has a question about a reignited rock. Romance. Oh, I've recently reunited with an old flame and the passion is as great as ever. And um, so my question was, oh, he was always afraid of marriage. So my question was, will he ask me to marry him this time? Thank Kathleen. you. Girl, wow. Kathleen, I'm well, look, hot up here. You know, I'm saying good on you yeah. because obviously the physical chemistry is great, but I actually think there's also a very spiritual union between these two people. There's no coincidence that they've reunited. And, you know, marriage, you don't have to get married. I know that she wants to. I wonder if he's going to do it in a non-traditional way with her. So I almost get this feeling that there will be some form of a tied relationship, but I don't necessarily see, like, a church and the whole wedding dress thing. Mm. It could be very simplistic. Mm -hmm. And I actually do see that for them, but it's not necessarily Down a traditional birth, just wedding. Marriages, maybe just a simple. You know what? It could even be something like just in a garden where they just get someone just to, mm. you know, basically officiate or whatever. Have a party. Yeah, yeah more good. like a party. And I actually see a barbecue, so he might be into barbecues because oh. I have that vision. Outdoors. Right, with yeah. Ring. Okay. Hey, Donna has an interesting question about her late husband. Ooh. Donna. My husband passed away a few years ago from cancer, and I hear from people who's loved ones have passed away that they feel them around or they can see their bed moving because they've sat down in their spirit form and things like that and I don't I don't get any of that so um, is that because he doesn't visit me or is it a problem with me um, does he have any messages for me or has he totally moved on and I should just you know forget about it OK, that's a different wow. take in this whole thing, isn't it? That really is. It's almost like a different side of the spectrum. Yeah. First of all, I want to say that he does visit you and it, you don't have to experience it like everybody else. You know, it's very common for people to sense their loved ones around them mm. because that's what happens. But with you, if you're not sensing it, it doesn't mean he's not there. I don't want you to think there's a problem with you because there's not. He actually shows me a coin collection or something to do with coins. So I don't know if he actually collected coins because he's leaving coins on the floor for you. So you actually might find after this video you will probably start to see coins on the floor. That's from your husband. So in terms of him actually visiting you, he's going to prove it to you by showing you coins on the floor. Wow. And you will see this. This will happen probably in the next three days or so. Amazing. Okay. Make sure you let us know if that does yes, happen. Really, and finally, yeah. Michelle wants to check the spiritual voicemail. My name's Michelle, and I was just wondering if you see anybody on the other side that would like to give me a message. There's a young female with blonde hair as soon as I looked at her and th it's almost like they actually looked similar. Um, I almost feel there could also be like a motherly energy around that girl, um, which is so interesting, but there's, there's someone that looks like her that was standing beside her. Because when I looked at the video, I actually could see a silhouette of someone that looked like her. And I thought, oh, is there two people? But, but there was yeah. only one. So there's a woman in spirit that looks very similar to you. She's got blondish hair and she's very happy. And I feel like there was a cancer-related illness and she's talking about there's no more illness, there's no more pain, right. and I am OK. And there's also a gentleman who feels like her dad. So I feel like your grandfather's around you as well. There's a grandfatherly energy. And wow. he's very proud, proud man. Amazing. Thank Harry, you so fantastic. much, Harry. Thank you. If you have a question for Harry, then send it in to us at Today Extra at 9.com.au.